Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Ace Simone back at it again with another video. So as you saw by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a bundle compare and contrast video. So guys, this video was prompted by me buying bundles from the app Timu last summer. So I was just randomly, you know, shopping, randomly, randomly online looking, and I decided to go look up and search bundles from Timu. Because I decided to buy these bundles because they were super affordable, like super inexpensive. And it's like, this is not breaking my bank at all. So why not? So I had these bundles from last summer into now. And I did a whole video dedicated to these bundles. So I will link that um, somewhere in here for you. But yeah, pretty much my discovery or my breakdown of the Timu bundles is why I prompted to do this video. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Yeah. So yeah, guys, like I said, this is going to be a compare and contrast video. And this is off of the heels of me buying Timu bundles from last summer. So I'm going to go in order of the different apps and the different websites where I bought the bundle. So I decided to just do a compare and contrast video based off of the evidence or the breakdown from the Timu bundle. So that is what I did. So let's start off with number one, and that is the bundles from Timu. That's so this is the bundle from Timu. I just have one bundle for this video. I apologize. Um, but yes, so this is the bundle from Timu. Yeah, so guys, um, pretty much my analysis or my synopsis from the Timu bundles is what when I first opened them last summer and then when I reopened them back a couple weeks ago in the beginning of February, it's the same kind of thing i noticed right off the gate from then until now so the physical attributes of these bundles is that soft feel like virgin hair flows like virgin hair but there was something iffy when it came to the bundles so once i went through and kind of looked within the strands of the bundles there was something going on where there was these random kind of golden orangey metallic looking strands that were randomly you know sprinkled throughout the bundle and it's a situation I'm like, well, what is this? Why do these strands look different from the full, you know, strands of the bundles? So in my first video, um, I did a breakdown of plain devil's advocate, meaning if these are Brazilian bundles, this is South American, you know, hair people from South American. And it's a situation where if you have dark brown hair, not every single strand is going to be equal. I mean, if you have dark brown hair, there may, there may be some strands that are more dark dark chocolate and there may be some strands that are more obviously a light medium brown so it's like if we play devil's advocate it's like okay well that's a great argument and that makes a thousand percent sense but the way these strands that were sprinkled throughout it wasn't giving hair it was not giving the illusion or the look of hair this was giving me party favors when you buy decorations for a party you have all the silver metallic -y, different things that you put up for a party that's the consistency that it was giving me shiny like i said orange golden metallic shiny it was not giving dimensions of hair meaning that this is just a different shade or different strands of versions of brown hair that was not what it was given to me so i was like okay cool the everything else about the attributes of it being virgin hair seems to be there it's just these random strands that are sprinkled throughout that's throwing me off so i was like okay cool let me dye the hair so guys, the first round of bundles, excuse me, the first round of dyeing that I did, I used dark black. And this is from Revlon. So guys, I went with Revlon because it was the um, least, um, and it was the least um, expensive. It was the most affordable. There was no rhyme or reason why I used the brand Revlon. It was the cheapest. So that's what I went with. So I used the shade um, black brown just because I didn't want jet black bundles. My hair is not jet black. It's never been. So I didn't want to go with jet black. So I dyed two bundles and then I left one bundle as it is to obviously compare and contrast after the dye. So when I dyed the bundles, the overall bundles were dyed down and stripped. But guess what, guys? Those little shiny pieces that I'm referring to, they were still there. They did not strip down with me dyeing the full bundle. They were minimized because, like I said, the overall bundle was dyed down, but they did not go away. So I was like, okay, cool. These random strands are still here. Let me do one more dye job and let me throw a little curve in the mix so I bought black dye from Revlon now Revlon they don't do jet black their darkest is called black so that's what if you hear me say black is not their jet black is the darkest shade that they have which is black so yeah 
So I was like, okay, let me buy the darkest shade, which is the black from Revlon. And let me throw a little twist in the game. Let me buy synthetic fabric dye, which is black. And let me compare and contrast. So I took one bundle. I didn't take all of the bundles because I did, you know, we didn't need to do that. I didn't need all the bundles to be compromised with doing this dye job. So I split the bundle in half. I labeled it the Revlon side, the Ritz, the Ritz um, synthetic dye side. So I did the um, regular Revlon first, let it air dry. Then I did the Ritz, rinse it off, let it air dry. So on the regular Revlon side, again, the bundle was dyed down, but those pieces were not gone. Like I said, each time I did the dye job, they would be minimized, but it would still be visible to my naked eye. And you could still see it when I went and I went through the bundles. They were still there. So even with the darkest shade, which was black from the Revlon, they did not go away. They never stripped down those pieces that I'm referring to. When I went to the synthetic side, guess what, guys? Those pieces were completely gone and completely erased away. Completely erased away. So with the human hair dye, did two versions of dyeing. It did not go away. Those pieces that I'm referring to, guys, they did not go away until I used a synthetic fabric dye. I went on Google to try to do some research. I didn't find a lot of research with can synthetic dye, synthetic fabric dye, dye human hair. I found a blog post from somebody that dyed their hair with synthetic dye and they said that their hair color did change but it was so damaged from obviously the product that they ended up pretty much doing a chop. They chopped all the hair off. So that's the only evidence that I have of can synthetic fabric dye, dye human hair. Like I said guys, everything that I'm doing in this video, I'm doing for the first time. Like I said, I do not have any knowledge on dyeing or dealing with bundles. I have obviously ordered bundles um, before in the past over obviously the years. But as far as doing all this experimentation that I'm doing, I have not done all this. The last time I've dyed any hair, which would have been my hair, has been a decade ago. So if you're in the comment section like, well, duh, synthetic fabric dye is able to dye human hair. That's not something that is common knowledge to me. So I do not know. Okay, guys, so that is my breakdown and analysis of the Timu bundle. Let's move on. Moving on to the Amazon bundles. This is the second batch of bundles, second order that I made on Amazon, and it is a loose wave. So, guys, this being a loose wave was only because of the price and the five-star rating. The bundles I have are straight bundles, so don't get thrown off by that. It was strictly based on the price that I decided to go with that loose wave. guys so with the amazon bundles straight out the package um looks feels is given you know the touch the feel of cotton it's giving the look it's giving the feel of virgin hair bundles i ran my fingers through it once we get down to the ends it does get a little tricky because the ends were suffocating the ends were slightly dried out compared to the full length of the bundle so straight out the packaging everything seems to appear to be true virgin hair bundles but the ends were a little rough um, so yeah, so I did the same thing I did with the TV bundles. I opened it up and I went through, um, you know, really examined through the bundles and the same thing was present. Those red, golden, orange, kind of shiny, metallic looking pieces, they were there. Now, they were toned down compared to the TV bundle. So if TV was here, they were here. So they were equivalent to when I did the second dye job on the original TV bundle. So when I used that black dye, so everything was stripped down, but they were still slightly present. That's what the Amazon bundle straight out the package remind me of if I'm making a comparison. So if we're going straight out the packaging, comparing Timu to Amazon for this round, I'm going to have to give it to Amazon straight out the pack. Okay, guys, so we have order number three, and that is from Shein. So guys, by the time, like I said, I put it together to do this video, by the time I get to the Shein app, I was like, okay, let me switch up the game. Let me purposely order from two different hair vendors or two different hair stores and compare and contrast. So that is what I did. So when we get to the Shein and then we get to the last one, which is AliExpress, I purposely ordered from two different hair stores on the app to compare and contrast, meaning what does this bundle look like? Ordering from this hair, even though it's the same app, versus ordering from this um, this hair store and compare and contrast. So guys, Shein, as you guys can see, the Shein from the two different stores, they're literally given identical. 
super super soft super super silky um the ends are clipped i would try to get some i would try to get some good footage but they actually clip and snip the ends so they don't get scraggly raggly it's not like a blunt cut to where it's giving you know etna of mr um the incredibles it's not that blunt, but i can tell they clip these ends to break it to a nice smooth end to where it's not scraggly so yeah the shein bundles they're given identical open up the bundles went through it the same thing like i said these bundles once we get from the tibu bundles it goes down and down and down that those shiny um shiny pieces that i'm referring to they are there they are present in the bundles but it is minimized so like i said it's equal to when i did the second dye job when i used that black dye to where it was stripped down but it was slightly when you open up and look at with your naked eye you can see those random strands still present to the naked eye another thing i want to bring up with the shein bundles is the packaging and the ordering so like i said when i get to shein i purposely order from two different stores for the sake of compare and contrast guys when they send you these bundles the packaging is the same the packaging from shein is the exact same so i don't know if this is coming from the same warehouse or through shein if you're a hair store under shein they you have to have the same packaging but yeah, the packaging was the same, guys, and they do not label the packaging. So when I was um, preparing these bundles to do this video, I was looking at my email and looking at the description, trying to compare and contrast the description. And I was trying to figure out which hair store sent me which bundle. They do not give you a business card. They do not label the different hair stores when you're ordering. And this is through Shein. So situation, if you end up having, if you're doing what I'm doing, if you're doing it on purpose or you just end up having to order from two different stores to get what you need, they do not label the hair stores and they ship this out together. So my Shein bundles came together, same packaging, you know, the whole nine. So what I was able to do was to look at the actual packaging and they have like a barcode number. So meaning when you go into a store and you order a product and it has the barcode and the SKU number, that is what the packaging had. So that is how I matched up my email you know, meaning my order, that order, that same number is present in your order number and it's present on the packaging. So that is the only way, because me trying to add it up, I actually had the bundles backwards. So everything I would have been telling you, it would have been switched for the Shein bundles. So yeah, so I am giving you that little tip. Okay guys, and last but not least is AliExpress. AliExpress is probably the OG. Shein and Timu are the newer versions of AliExpress. All these um, bundles that I have, I've never ordered bundles from actual apps and companies. They've all came from actual like hairstylists that have sold bundles. So that is my experience with bundles um, over in the past years before. So all of these apps and you know these marketplaces, um, me ordering from bundles, it is new to me. You know when it comes to me filming this video and doing this compare and contrast. So yeah, so we have AliExpress. Last but not least, so with AliExpress, I did the same thing I did with Shein. I purposely ordered from two different hair stores. But guys, I did make a little boo boo. I did end up double dipping, not on purpose. So I ended up ordering ordering from the company Bofox. So that is the same bundles I got from Amazon. And then when I got to AliExpress, I ended up ordering double dipping with um that hair store. So I did not realize, like I said, that these hair stores are unanimous or all uh, you know all across these different apps i had no idea like i said this video is like everything i'm doing um new to this i'm not true to this i'm doing this to show you and compare and contrast so when i saw the name or when i looked at the hair store i didn't realize that it was the same one from amazon so yeah so i did decide to keep the bundle just for the fact and you'll see you know why i'll explain that to you while a little bit later but yeah guys straight out the packaging um silky straight you know, appears to be good quality bundles. These bundles are also clipped at the end too, like I referred to the Shein bundles where the ends are not scraggly. They did go to in, go through and snip a couple of centimeters off and you can tell that. Um, so yeah, guys, um, but when it comes to the bundles, there is a difference. Like I said, with the Shein bundles, they were given pretty much identical. I can't tell the difference. Um, with these bundles, the store Alania and then the store Bofox, which is the same one from Amazon. As you guys can see, the bow box bundle is overall darker than the Alania bundle, which that's not a big deal. But with this, with me doing this video, like I said, those pieces that I found streaked throughout the bundles, that was is what prompted me to do this whole kind of investigation. So overall, with ordering from AliExpress and purposely order from two different stores, the bundles ended up being physically 
different. The characteristics are different. The Alania bundle is slightly more brown. So those shiny pieces that I'm referring to are slightly or more visible. Not slightly, they are more visible to the naked eye. Whereas with the Bow Fox bundle, because it's an overall darker tone, it's not as visible. Um, so yeah, so in conclusion, what I discovered from the TV bundles, these kind of shimmery, sparkly pieces streaked throughout, they are present in all the bundles. Okay. So guys, let's go ahead and rank the bundles. So guys, I'm going to give you two rankings. I'm going to do the individual bundles more from the individual apps. I'm going to give you the order of those. Then I'm going to pick the individual company for the individual bundle from the individual app. So I'm going to do a group situation from app, app, app. Then I'm going to pick the single individual um, company and bundle that I think is the best. Okay. So let's go ahead and go. So for me, number one is Shein. Number two is AliExpress. Number three is Amazon. And number four is Timu. So from fave to least fave, that is what it is. Okay? So now let's get to an individual ranking, meaning individual bundle, individual company, individual app. If we're going with the my fave out of all these, I'm going to have to go with the Bofox bundle the straight bundle that I ordered from AliExpress. And remember, this is the same company that I have the loose wave bundles, but that was through Amazon. So the loose wave being ordered from Amazon versus the straight being ordered from AliExpress, it was not giving the same thing. Now, overall, if you look when it comes to that, so overall, when it comes to those, those random shiny pieces that I'm referring to, they are the least present they are the least present when it comes to this hair store that is called Bofox. If you look at those two bundles, they're giving the same overall tone. They are the darkest toned out of all the bundles. So that sh those shiny pieces that I'm referring to, they are the least visible with those bundles. But the reason I'm taking off points from the Amazon Loose Wave bundle is because of those rough ends. That's why, like I said, the straight bundle, super, super soft, silky, beautiful, and it is the overall darkest tone, and it's the overall least visible that those little shiny pieces are coming through. So that's why the Bofox straight bundle wins in my opinion. Um, but yeah guys, that is it. That is a breakdown, compare and contrast of ordering random bundles from random um, hair companies through random apps. Like I said, this was all triggered by Timu. Like I said, you guys saw my final rating for me. Timu um, was in last place just based of based on the out of package, um, out of package, um, initial review. This is straight out of the package um, getting shipped to me. Um, these are initial reviews. Obviously, I have not wore any of these hair, so that would obviously be the final test. And as far as I'm concerned, Timu could outlast all of them. But based on the physical look attributes out of the package, that is my conclusion. Um, like, subscribe to this video, leave me comments down below. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Like I said, I did this to bring this to the people, you know, to shoot content and you know just bring something that the people um, might be interested in if you want to see me do this across the board again if you want to switch it to curly bundles and do the same thing boom 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 order across the board and do this kind of random compare and contrast i can do that if you want to move up to wigs i can do the same thing we order different wigs wigs from different websites purposely different companies excuse me different hair stores the different stores that they offer different apps compare and contrast kind of a randomized system of ordering you know this high quality hair that is supposed to be so that's my conclusion thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time